Welcome everybody to another episode of Sexy Formula. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the <laughs> content. Whoa! <laughs> Almost had a meltdown. <laughs> uh, speak. <laughs> yeah, speak one more time. Speak. Speak. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it is Hila's birthday today. She one years old. She one years old today, aren't you? Yeah. We're having a birthday party tonight. Whoa. Whoa. Speak. <laughs> so anyways, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hila. Happy birthday to you. Oh! Tact. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sucker move. Birthday. Banana cake Frosting That needs to be made Banana cake You ready? Ooh I look good There you go Oh my god, that's like a giant toaster pastry <laughs> Look at that scrum diddly umptiousness. Oh my gosh, are we gonna put a candle in it? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Hila number one. Ready? Come here. Come here. Hold on, hold on. Ready? Ready? Happy Gotta birthday, wish. baby. Happy birthday. Get a picture. Happy birthday, Katie. So Siberian Huskies are from Russia, guys. Russia is from where Siberian Huskies are from. They're fluffier. They are. They have much more hair. And then there are Alaskan Huskies. Alaskan Huskies are like the Huskies I have, and they have shorter hair. It's not because one place is hot, one place is cold. Alaskan Huskies are just domesticated more with American westernized dogs. Alaskan Huskies are more natural, more wolf-like. These guys have more uh, domestication inside of them. So they're just more like dogs. But I prefer it like that because they're less aloof. They they know tricks really well. Gila, up, up, good girl. Sit. 
Good girl. Stand. Stand. <laughs> nope, longer. Stand. Stand. <laughs> longer than that. Stand. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Brittany, sit. Lay down. Lay down. Yeah. Lay down party. Alaskan Huskies are way better listeners. What's going on right here? What is this? That a sploot? So it's better sometimes to have whatever matches your preference. If you're someone who likes an independent dog, you're more independent, maybe you need an, maybe you need a Siberian Husky. But if you want a dog that can do tricks and listen to you, kind of go off leash a little bit, because this Husky is off leash. She is an off leash Husky. She does not need a leash when she goes out the front door. And I will show you guys that in future episodes and I will teach you guys exactly how you can train your Husky to go out the front door without worrying about them running away. I don't ever have to worry about her running away when I open the front door. Even if she runs outside, she's just that freaking good. To me and Gila, we're friends. I trust her. She trusts me. We put trust into each other. We've built a, a trust bondship. Me and Brittany, Britney Spears, he's just got to work on that. He's got to work on the on the trust bondshipness because he still makes mistakes. He still does stuff that I don't approve of, and uh, we got to work on that a little bit. But that's no problem. He'll get around to it, and I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how you can let your Siberian Husky just chill. And you can interchange the terms. People say Siberian Husky, Alaskan Husky. There's really no difference. It's just how domesticated they are. You could call these Siberian Huskies. They're just Huskies. That's what they are. They're following a Husky, right? It's a Husky. What's up? Give me that tail. Give me that tail. She's like, no way, bro. No way, bro. No way, bro. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Every day. All right, guys. Let's go take a look at some other shit. Let's go.